A global forum in South Korea has condemned attacks on religious freedom in China, Japan and the Middle East during the Second Conference of Hope and Universal Human Rights and Religious Freedom. The political and religious leaders said clashes between dictatorial regime and free societies are endangering people's religious freedom and human rights thus affecting democracy. Hundreds of political and religious leaders converged in Seoul, South Korea to sign a declaration in support of fundamental human rights and human dignity, as well as overcome threats to freedom of thought, concerns and religion. The leaders want the world to uphold universal freedom of thought and stand firm against forms of intolerance and hate towards others. This must begin with a laudable idea that can overcome the divisions of our current world. People to people connections through different religions, races or beliefs must set the key foundation for peace in families, communities and the nations. The Conference of Hope organizing chairman Dr. Yoon Yang Ho said freedom of religion is essential to democracy. The International Federation for Victory Over Communism will put its life on the line to fight until the end to stop the scheme and to defend Japan's democracy. The leaders have since condemned the policing of people with cell phones through tracking devices and facial recognition technology in the world. The Conference of Hope under the Universal Peace Federation transcends political, religious, racial and ideological boundaries to a unified world. The conference comes at a time when the world faces the threat of war, extremism, climate change and alleged increasing disregard for human rights. Irene Mchuma Udim, The Lunchtime News.